show last night in the Big Easy. This was what we have been hoping for, waiting for from Zion Williamson. It was just the Zion show, Zach. Just get out of his way. Peak Zion, there's just nothing you can do to keep him from the rim except hope he misses or foul him. <laughs> CJ McCollum somehow finds Zion Williamson, goes up strong, gets that one to go. This is just this is what we've been waiting to see and the pelicans have so much room to grow here but this is what makes this young man so exciting to watch herb jones drops it off to zion slams it down with two hands going ahead to the third quarter here didn't slow down in the second half how did he get that back i don't know good things happen when you're built like a tank and can run like a <laughs> linebacker well good things happen when cj mccullum is on your team finds zion again there and gets that one to go Zion just scoring from everywhere on the floor here. A little give and go with CJ once uh -oh. again. Connects for the slam. And then we need to get one more look at this one. Under a minute left to go here. Zion from Valanchunas. New Orleans rolls 124-114. Zion was going hard in the paint Wednesday against Philly. I mean, look at the shot chart. He was nearly perfect from the floor. He actually was, and then some things got retroactively changed. His furthest shot from the floor was just nine feet away. Tim Legler, what did you see from Zion? Well, look, we know that this guy is special. He's unique. He's a one-off. And, and here's some of the reasons why. We know they've got Brandon Ingram, C.J. McCollum. He's got talent around him. But what differentiates the Pelicans is Zion Williamson. And there's a couple of things he did in this one that really stood out to me. Here's the first one. You know, Zion, you know he wants to get left. And you can see defensively, they're trying to line up and shading him on this side because you're just hoping you can force him into here where, as you can see, there's all kinds of traffic. I mean, this is about as walled up as you're going to get. But somehow, some way, Zion Williamson always finds a way to get to his left hand. And that's exactly what he's going to do here. But what happens at the end of this is what I want to show you because this is different for Zion. This is special. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say this might be the best pass Zion Williamson's ever thrown in his life. And I'm talking about this is Luka stuff. This is LeBron stuff. This is LaMelo Ball. There's very few guys that can make this pass. Jump in the air, two hands as a shot blocker at the rim. Zion, the easy play probably would have been a kick out to this wing. But instead, he's going to wrap it around the defender. And look where he hits C.J. McCollum. This is dead in his chest. Perfect delivery, making them pay for loading up five guys in the rim. And then it's the quickness for a guy this size and how he takes advantage of, of improper positioning. You can see right now, they got this defended pretty good at the start. You've got traffic over here to guard the ball screen. It's the third defender, the guard guarding Zion. Looking at the weak side of the floor because he thinks, you know, Zion is not going to shoot the ball from out here. It's not a threat if it gets swung. I have time to recover. This is where he's different. Zion's going to catch this basketball when it gets reversed. Ball gets swung. Watch how quickly he's one step and he's at the rim before you can get any help, any sort of rotation. And he knows there's one thing on the backside most guys aren't willing to do. In this case, it's Tyrese Maxey. Are you going to lay out and take 300 pounds in your chest and right. draw this charge? No, probably not. He's going to stunt and get back, and that gives Zion Williamson this alley to the lane, and now you got an and one. He gets in these little gaps with his speed and his strength. It's so different. It's so unique. And now that C.J. McCollum's back, Let's see if the New Orleans Pelicans can start to climb that chart in the Western Conference. Right, because currently they sit at eighth in the Western Conference, a record of 10 and 9. But what we're seeing from Zion is so encouraging. I guess, Zach, he was built up so much leading into his draft and in the time since. And obviously injuries and other things have kept him from living up to that potential. Do you think with the play that we're seeing now, there is still that possibility that this impossible hype, and I don't love that term, it's really nebulous, but can he live up to that? When he plays, he's an all-NBA player, period. That's yeah. the only issue is he, he hasn't played. Now he's playing, and this, to me, is the single most intriguing team in the West in terms of, like, those teams in the middle of the stings where you just don't know what you got. I think they have done fantastic work to be 10-9, and nine, given half their team is always injured. Zion is playing great, playing better every night. CJ's back. Trey Murphy's coming back. Our Woj just reported that. This team is all of a sudden going to have way more shooting around Zion with CJ and Trey Murphy the third. Way more depth. Lots of lineups they can go to. This is a sleeping giant in the Western Conference, potentially. A really good team is in here somewhere right. if they can stay healthy. They were at the top of the West essentially through early January of last season. That's when Zion Williamson got hurt. Where do you fall in this, Perk? I mean, it's simple for me. He's playing with such joy. Great joy. He's having fun. When was the last time we, we, we witnessed Zion Williamson 
actually have fun on the floor. I see him high-fiving. I see him smiling. I see him playing with emotions. It, it seems to me that all the off-court distractions are gone, and he's actually doing what he's supposed to do and use his brothers that are on the floor with him along with the game of basketball as his sanctuary. And if you could get this version of Zion, a guy that you could put on at, at any position on the floor, meaning in his spots. I love how Willie yeah. Green uses it. You can't figure him out. If you want him to play the dunker spot, he could do that. If you want to put... Uh, put him at the elbow action, he could do that. Whatever you want him to do, he could do it. But it's just the joy for me, watching mm. him play with that passion, that positive emotions. And it seems like they, they found a little bit of success in the point Zion model, too. We saw some of it under Van Gundy. We're seeing it again with Willie Green now. It seems like if, knock on wood, they can stay healthy, you, like, like you said, sleeping giant in the West. Um, let's go Zach, to the East you look next. At you know what, Perk? We never know. Despite the loss last <laughs> night, we're going to dive into the emergence of Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese down. This was really the James Harden coming out game for the Clippers here. Tied game early. Remember the Kings on the second night of a back-to-back. -back, they had to exert so much energy coming back against the Golden State Warriors. And James Harden's act took full advantage. Yeah, first big scoring game as a Clipper. Everybody shot well. And this starting lineup is absolutely killing it so far. James Harden pulls up once again. Another three after intercepting that pass. He had 17 points in the first quarter. He finished with a season high 26 but then you know there's a big four on this team it is Kawhi Leonard's turn so let's go ahead here to the second quarter Kawhi Ooh, spicy we haven't seen some hops like that from him in a while Tim. nice little two-footed bounce on the weak side slash and then some one-footed bounce right there going down the middle and throwing it down with authority well just in case you thought it was a fluke he had to do it a couple of times throughout the course of this game Kawhi watch him here goes up strong Crafty finish there. In the second quarter, Kawhi had 12 points. In the third quarter, he had 11 points on five of six shooting, a perfect five of five in the second. De'Aaron Fox, though, he did all he could in this one. The fourth quarter here, De'Aaron Fox, he hits the three. Fox had a game high 40 points, but then on the other hand, Kawhi, Nice little turnaround jumper there, and he gets that one to go. He had a team-high 34 points. The Clippers win 131-117. Here's Ty Lu after the game. I think James was wanted to prove to y'all that, you know, he is James Harden, you know, and so he can do that, you know, on a nightly basis. It's coming around. Like I said, you know, we had a, the tough loss against Denver. Everybody's, you know, talking about that. But I still got positivity in this team. I mean, it's, it's time that we try to start to build something out here um, and, and get a streak going, going the other way. It's time to try to build something. Well, they had their best game of the season against the Kings. Los Angeles had season highs in points in field goals and shooting. James Harden put up a season best 26 points. The Clippers, they had it all going on offense. But don't look now. They've won five of their last seven as we say hello to Kendrick Perkins. Perk, did you buy that this really is the blueprint for what can be for the Clippers last night for them to contend? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. And I said it earlier today on first take. What you, what, you, what you want me to do? Applaud the fish for swimming? I cannot do that. Here's why, Malika. Okay, the Sacramento Kings were, on a, were, off, were coming off a back-to-back, -back, okay, were in a brawl fight with the Golden State Warriors. The Clippers were well-rested, coming off a horrible loss against the Denver Nuggets. Of course, they were going to come out there and respond. And here's the thing, right? I understand James Harden, he had his best game in the Clippers uniform, but he didn't remind us who he was because we play in a league today where any given night, we can see any guy go for 20 plus. We just saw DeAndre Jordan do it to them a couple of nights ago. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình. Và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc tập truyện Đồng Hồ Trăm Lần Khổ trong truyện 18 của Doraemon. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện. Ngoái, ai cho cậu vào phòng lúc này? Chà, tất cả vào bối trong túi cậu đấy à? Cậu đang làm gì thế? Kiểm tra định kỳ. Cứ 100 tháng, tớ phải kiểm tra toàn bộ máy móc một lần. Xem liệu có cái nào hư hỏng hay không? Xin chào, tớ đến giúp cậu đây. Cảm ơn cậu nhé. CYC. Chào cụ cố, cụ cố có khỏe không ạ? À? Đừng gọi tớ là cụ cố. <cười> Bọn mình kiểm tra từ đầu nhé Được, 
Bắt đầu đi Cụ dịch ra một chút nào Cái này còn tốt Cái này phải mang đi sửa Ái trà bận rộn quá Để tớ giúp một tay Đây là cái gì vậy? Cục tắc Nó là đồng hồ báo thức cự ly xa Cậu Đừng có té mé lung tung Không biết thì đừng có thọ tay vào Cụ đi chỗ khác cho cháu nhờ Ờ chú nó dám cạp mình ra ngoài Nhưng mình Đã bí mật Có được một món đỏ Ờ cái này dùng để làm gì nhỉ <cười> Không thể đi hỏi Doraemon được Tớ muốn bấm nút này xem Trời ơi biết ngay mà Cậu lại gây chuyện nữa rồi Đó là đồng hồ 100 lần khó Đây là loại thiết bị khiến cậu phải gặp xui xẻo 100 lần trong vòng 100 phút Sao cậu lại có cái máy quái gọi ấy Máy này dùng cho những người tu hành khó luyện Họ nếm mặt nằm gai để thử thách tiền rũ bản thân Phải tắt công tắc đấy đi Một khi cậu đã khởi động nó thì không ai có thể tắt được <cười> Khen khen, cái cậu Cái cậu làm gì thế? Vừa rồi là khó Hình đầu tiên Cậu hãy tìm một góc ngồi im ở đó Bây giờ còn đến 99 lần nữa Vô ích Có cho nó mìn Cái hộp cũng không suy chuyển đâu Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn Ở các video tiếp theo Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc Tiếp phần 2 của câu chuyện Đồng hồ Trăm lần khó trong quyển 18 Của Doraemon mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Sắp đến lần thứ hai rồi đấy Bọn mình mà đánh cậu nữa thì phải tội Tránh sang bên kia thôi Để ngồi im một chỗ Coi sao Reng Bốc Trốn mau Đến nơi nào thật xa Cậu có chạy đến chân trời góc bẻ Cũng không thoát được đâu Càng về sau họ hình càng khủng khiếp hơn Ê Novita, quái đang xôi lại gặp tên mặt đáng ghét Quyến chuyện tớ mượn cậu mấy hôm trước hay lắm Cảm ơn nhé Ơ ờ, tớ đang có việc bạn phải đi Khen, sao tự nhiên thấy vực mình thế nhỉ Bốc, trời ơi đây là lần thứ ba còn 9-7 lần nữa Có người yếu ớt quá nên lần thứ 10 đã lăn ra chết rồi Dùng tên lửa Đống khứ nó lên vũ trụ cũng không được Quá sắp sang lần thứ 4 rồi Rèn quá lần thứ 4 Trốn vào đây cho an toàn Lần thứ 5 Lần thứ 6 Coi vọ nặng càng lúc càng nặng thêm Chết mất thôi, có chỗ nào an toàn hơn không nhỉ? Có người nào giúp mình được không? Siduka ơi, giấu tớ vào nơi an toàn nhé Ủa, Novita đấy à? Tớ đang nấu ăn Đừng, tha mạng cho tớ đi mà Vớ vẩn, cậu chỉ giỏi ăn nói linh tinh Đã năm 10 phút trôi qua, không thấy tay nạn nào nữa Sao thế nhỉ? À, Siwasi mang nó về thế giới 100 năm sau rồi Phải 100 năm nữa, tài họa thứ bảy mới xảy đến mới cậu
Và video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo